back to my channel. I'm sure by the title of this video, you already know what this video is going to be about, what I'm gonna be talking about, trying on, swatching, and showing you guys, and that is my ColourPop holiday collection. <laughs> So this is my holiday lip collection that I came out with just a few days ago. If you guys don't know, I announced it on my Instagram. Um, I came out with the holiday collection and this is my third one with them. My literally third child, my third baby under a year. You know, it feels great. Um, it's such an honor to honestly work with ColourPop. I've had such an amazing experience working with them since the very beginning. And when they told me they wanted to do a third collection, I said, hell yes, I love you guys and I love the products. So if you guys don't already know, I have a full on collection with ColourPop, uh, two shadows, Cheeky and Saucy. Then we got Mamacita, we got Curvy, and then we got 951 lip colors. And then in August, we came out with Arriba! And that was a beautiful blue toned red that is honestly to me still the perfect red out there. So now we got three more babies that are joining the family and that is this holiday collection. First and foremost, these are sold in a bundle or separately. Um, the bundle is $15 and each lip color is $6. So I don't even know which one to get into because I love them all so much. So I'm just gonna roll and grab one. All right, so the first color in this collection is called Softy with a double I. I don't know if you guys catch the connection. I love Sada E, Curvy, Softy. I put a double I at each of them, so kind of matches my IG name, you know? Um, but this color is a beautiful, soft, dusty rose, dusty plum, a little hint of brown in there. It's just a perfect color that you can wear if you want color or you want it a little more muted. There's many ways you can wear them. And I just wanted something that when I don't want to wear red or I don't want to wear nude or I don't want to wear dark, I can have that in between color. And I came up with this shade right here. So here is the color fully dried down and this is an ultra matte formula. So what I really love about this formula is that you can wear this with a more rosy kind of lip liner or a dark berry. They're gonna give you a different finish. So the rosy one's gonna look more natural. The berry one's gonna give you more of that, that deeper berry color, but not necessarily like as dark as Mamacita. It's just gonna give you, it's gonna give you like a nice color in the middle. Or you can actually pair this with a dark brown lip liner. So I'm gonna do the dark brown to show you guys how it looks. So what I'm doing now is taking the Sigma L06 lip line brush to really blend in the lip pencil and the lip color together. It gives a really precise finish. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this shade. But you see how it's still soft enough to wear throughout the day. You could still wear it with a full eye or a more nude eye. Um, there's so many ways you can wear this lip color, but I love the way it looks because it's not too brown, too rose, nor too plum. It's kind of like that perfect softy color, if you know what I mean. And what I love also about this lip color is that it's so universal and will work with most skin tones. So if you are on the more fair complexion, you can definitely wear this with a more rosy lip pencil or no lip pencil and it will look great. If you are in the medium olive skin tones, you could go either route. If you are on the darker skin tones, you can wear this with the brown or with the Mamacita lip color and you can get that perfect color or you don't have to wear any of it and it'll be the perfect nude. Again, like I said, this is such a beautiful shade that I love. Me gusta tanto. So the next shade is this beautiful metallic cranberry red and this is called Coquette, AKA Coqueta. So if you guys don't know what Coqueta or Coquette means, it means to flirt. I thought it was like the perfect name for this color because this is such a flirty color. It's so eye-catching. It's one of those like when you're in a room and you're wearing it, you're like, you know kind of situation so I really wanted to make a color that was a beautiful metallic shade and it just fits so perfectly so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this shade on So here is Coquette fully dried and it's really hard to see on camera how beautiful the reflects are in person because on the lips and in person it is another it's on another dimension, you know what I mean? Oh, it's so gorgeous. So I'm gonna be pairing Coquette with my Mamacita lip pencil. Now you don't always have to go as dark as I do. I know I always go on the darker side, but I like the contrast. I like the contour kind of look, so that's the reason why I like it just a little darker. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and line the lips.
All right, so this is the shade. I'm so obsessed with it. It's so gorgeous. I just want to stay like this all day. I love it so much. <laughs> Everyone's saying this is Arriba's Cranberry Metallic Sister, which I agree. Absolutely so gorgeous. And anytime I think of a perfect metallic shade, to me, I always think of cranberries or reds. Like, I think those look so great in a metallic formula, and this is why I really chose this color, and I really like it. I only, I also feel this is going to look good on, again, every skin tone. Pair it with the right lip liner or, or no lip liner at all. This is a perfect lip that you can wear around to any event. And, I mean, go to the grocery store like this. You can go anywhere like this. Like, it's just a perfect shade. So, so the last and final shade is this beautiful pink yellow gold gloss. It's so gorgeous. And that is this color Atole. And this is my absolute favorite, favorite gloss ever. So first and foremost, I'm not only obsessed with it, obviously the color. It is this beautiful like baby pink with gold yellow reflex. It just looks so gorgeous on bare lips or with a new lipstick underneath. But I'm obsessed with the name. I named it Atole because this reminded me of Atole. <laughs> no, in all honesty, guys. Atole is just so bomb and during the holidays, it's something that we like to drink. So if you guys don't know what Atole is, it is something that we drink in our family. It's kind of a tradition, um, Mexican Latin descent. We all drink it and it's just this bomb ass drink. It's like a very warm like cinnamon, vanilla. It's like corn based. It's, I, it's very hard to explain, it, but it is the most delicious drink. And during the holidays, we always tend to drink it. We drink that and champorado. And I really wanted to touch into my culture and bring something that I love and marry it with a lip gloss that I love as well and I found that to be just a perfect name for this so now that you guys know what atole is you should definitely try it it is so delicious and also drink it with your atole on so this is what the gloss looks like look at all the gold yellow reflex it's so perfect so I'm gonna show you guys this color on bare lips and then one with a lip color and lip pencil paired All right, so here is a lip gloss completely applied on to bare lip, super comfortable, not sticky whatsoever. It almost feels like I have a glossy lip balm on top. It's very comfortable, does not feel thick whatsoever. And I love that it truly brings out my natural lip color underneath, like it really just makes that stand out. And I love the dual chrome effect. So you see the pink with the hints of gold, but the hints of yellow as well. This is definitely my go-to lip gloss right now. So now I'm gonna be applying this with a lip combo. I'm gonna be pairing up today MAC Whirl Lip Pencil along with Likey Lip Color from ColourPop along with the gloss. So this is Atole paired with a nude lip color and a nude lip pencil. So there you guys have it. Those are the three colors that are part of my holiday collection. Again, they are available on colourpop.com. So I hope you guys snag them up. And if you do, always remember to hashtag me right here so I can find you guys. I always love reposting and sharing how you guys look like with the lip colors on. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed these lip colors and I can't wait to see you guys in them. Um, so with that being said, Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video.